Ridgeway, registered dietitian at the Perth District Health Unit. And today I'm going to be showing you a recipe for whole wheat pumpkin spice pancakes. Pumpkin is a great source of fiber and also a good source of vitamin A. So to get started, we're going to combine our dry ingredients into a large bowl. So we have one cup of whole wheat flour. To your flour, add three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. You'll also add one half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth of a teaspoon of ginger, and one eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. And you're just gonna mix those together until they're well blended. Next, you're gonna combine your wet ingredients in a separate bowl. So we're using one half of a can of evaporated milk, or 175 milliliters. To that, we'll add one half a cup of canned pure pumpkin. And when you're looking for this at the store, just make sure that it is the 100% pure pumpkin and not the pumpkin pie filling. We'll add two tablespoons of brown sugar, one whole egg, And then one tablespoon of vegetable oil and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And stir that well until it's well combined. So next we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. And then you want to stir until just combined, uh, but make sure that you don't over stir because that can cause your pancakes to be more tough. So you want to cook these in a preheated frying pan or on a griddle that's set to a medium high heat. And you're going to take about one third of a cup of the batter for each pancake. And add that to your pan. If the batter is quite thick, you may just need to spread the pancake out a little bit until it's about four inches in diameter. And you want to cook these for uh, about a minute and a half to two minutes per side um, until they're light golden brown before you flip them over. So the pancakes have been cooking for about two minutes and you can see when we lift up the edge they're just starting to turn golden brown. So that's time to flip them. So we'll just cook them on this side for about another minute. Serve with some fresh fruit and maple syrup.